Hi, everybody. Hi. We are super excited to be talking to you today because we are going to be sharing about our Share Minerals makeup. Um, both Kim and I love to do our makeup, love to do other people's makeup, mm -hmm. and we just love sharing about lemongrass's makeup because it's clean, it's pure, it's not going to clog your pores, and it actually has a lot of benefits for your skin as well. So we're going to start with our mineral makeup primer. Our primer is enriched with green tea and rice proteins, so it's really nourishing for your skin. It's going to help create a really smooth, silky finish on your skin. So basically, your skin's gonna be like a smooth palette for your foundation. So when you put on your foundation, it's gonna go on really nice and even. It's gonna help fill in any fine lines or wrinkles that you might have so that your foundation doesn't accentuate those fine lines and wrinkles. So it'll help keep you looking younger, actually. Mm -hmm. um, this is also gonna increase the longevity of your makeup. So you can put on your makeup at 6.30 in the morning and it's still gonna look fresh at 6.30 p.m. Love this stuff. Mm -hmm. One pump, all you need, you're good to go. It's amazing. Next step is our foundation. We actually have two different foundation options for you. We have our liquid foundation, which is vegan and 90% organic. Um, <clears throat> the base of this foundation is aloe. So, I mean, gosh, right from the start, you know that that's gonna be amazing for your skin. Next, we also have our loose mineral foundation. Um, this is non-nanoparticles, so it's not going to be um, any health risk or anything like that. It also is non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog your pores, um, which I love. Both of these are gonna give you a natural sunblock of about 15 to 20 SPF. So even if you're just running out of the house and you gotta to go to like a, a game or something of your kids, you don't have time to do your whole face, just put on a really light application of this, you've got your natural sun protection. Um, that's gonna be beneficial, obviously, keep your skin looking young. Um, both of these are incredible. They are buildable coverage, so if you want a light application and just have that sun protection, you're good to go. Um, if you have a really you know, exciting event that you're going to and you wanna get all glammed up, do two coats of this and you have full coverage, like mm -hmm. theater style coverage yes. makeup, which is amazing um, because that's really hard to do when you're using a natural mineral makeup. Um, <clears throat> our mineral makeup is totally pure. We have no bismuth oxychloride in there. So um, even though that's a natural mineral, it can be an irritant for some people, mm -hmm. cause redness, itchiness. Sure. Um, so it's really good for people with sensitive skin um, just to be able to have a really clean, pure makeup. Both of these are um, incredible, last a long time, a little bit goes a long way, right? Mm -hmm. So love our foundations. Love those, they're amazing. So I am excited because I get to talk to you about some of our baked products. So this is one of my new favorites. It is our baked uh, palette. It's a highlighter bronzer. It's called Sugar and Spice. So. There is a difference between a baked palette and a pressed powder. I always like to talk about this because I never heard of a baked powder until Lemongrass Spot came mm -hmm. out with theirs. Um, so baked powders, you can see it's a dome shape. Baked powders are literally baked to get that hardened, um, you know, pressed feel. They're baked with natural essential oils um, that act as a preservative, as opposed to pressed powders, which are literally loose powders pressed together with chemical preservatives and mm -hmm. alcohol, actually. <laughs> so um, I love that this is completely natural, completely vegan, gluten-free, as all of our products are. But this is beautiful. This is one of my, like, daily products actually Absolutely. i too. i've always loved our makeup and when i started adding this in when it came to our line i've gotten more compliments than i think i ever had before so i love it you have the sugar and the spice you have the highlight the contour the bronzer um and gosh you're even wearing this on your eyes today aren't I you i am yeah yes it's so versatile and i like i mean i've had one for six months now and I've used it almost every day, and I haven't. I can't even see the bottom of it. So it's going to last you a really long time. Yeah. But baked powders are fantastic because they glide onto your skin easier, more evenly. Um, they don't get caked up like a lot of other, like you know, pressed powders do because of those filler ingredients. Um, and again, skin healthy. It's so good for your skin. So amazing for people with sensitive skin. You can um, use multiple tools to apply these. Sometimes I'll actually just even use my finger when I'm doing mm -hmm. my highlighting. Um, it works really, really well. You can use it to brighten up the eye area. Um, you can create shadows, or if you just want a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, I miss the sun-kissed glows during the winter. So I love to just swirl my brush around and then just do a light dusting all over my face. But oh my gosh, I love, love, love this product. It can be used on its own or on top of our foundation, um, whatever you prefer. Yeah, absolutely. So after you use a sugar and spice, 
spice uh, palette, you're gonna be able to apply your blush next. So um, we have some loose mineral blushes, variety of different colors, um, wonderful because they are um, buildable just like our foundation. So you can do a very light application and just give yourself a little bit of a natural rosy look, or you can do a heavier hand and get a really dramatic, glamorous look. Um, I love them because we do have options for matte colors, mm -hmm. and then we also have some with mica, so you're going to have that natural little bit of a shine. Um, they also are adaptable to everybody's undertones in their skin, so um, I love that they're so versatile and how maybe one color looks different on me than it does on Kim. Mm -hmm. So um, don't shy away from trying a darker color either because they're a little yes. bit more concentrated in the jar than they are going to be on your face. So they're going to go on a little bit more translucent, but give you a really nice natural or glamorous look, depending on how you want to apply it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So next I'm going to talk with you about some of our concealers. So this has actually been one of my favorites um, since my baby was born. <laughs> this is our pink concealer. So it's an amazing liquid concealer. Um, I still haven't gone through one. I think it's going to last me the rest of my life. <laughs> a little tiny bit is all that you need. So I love the pink one to just apply underneath the eyes. I find it very easy to apply this over my foundation mm -hmm. to continue to have that brightened eye area look. I literally just do a few dots here and then I actually like to use it as a primer on Me my too. lid for my shadow so mm -hmm. that's a fun little tip do a couple dots here um, and then you can blend it with a blending sponge is my favorite tool um, a kabuki brush a foundation brush any of those work I just use really? my fingers really I do yeah, well or your fingers you can use yeah. that too so um Absolutely love it because it just brightens up the eye area. So great for dark under eye circles. Um, or if you just want that like more airbrushy, you know, done up look, it's, it's fantastic. I can always tell the difference right after I put it on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I love that it's our cream to powder finish. Yes, absolutely. So it's really nice because that cream helps to go on smoothly, mm -hmm. but then when it dries and it sets, it turns into the powder. So when you apply maybe your eyeshadows on mm -hmm. afterwards, it's not going to get all um you know goopy and sticky yes. or cause creases in your in your lid so yeah. it's phenomenal it's very smooth very smooth. really great product mm -hmm. so speaking about the eyes and baked powders i'm excited because i love our baked eyeshadow palettes these are great for people who love the up and glam look or if you are just wanting to start getting interested in wearing eyeshadows and learning what to do i love our baked eyeshadow palettes you get three different shades for three or more different looks. So we have our light wash, which is right here. Um, that is gonna go all over the lid. We have our medium shade, which you can put in the crease and over the top of the lid. And then we have a darker shade if you wanna put that kind of in the corner of your eye. This is great because, I mean, again, a little goes so, so far, especially in the baked ones. It's easy to apply. It goes on even and smooth. And you get three different colors um, for a really, really affordable price. And mm -hmm. we have, what, three different palettes available yeah. as of right now. So absolutely love it. This one here is, which one is this? This is our Java Obsession coffee lovers. So you have those those neutrals, those browns. We have a Northern Lights, which has a little bit more of the gray purple tone. I'm actually wearing that one today. Um, and then we have our Cocoa Confection, which I think it's like a truffle-y look, yeah. kind of that chocolate um, feel. So lots of really great options available for you. Great way to start out um, or add to your eye shadow experience. So next I'm gonna talk about brows. I am really passionate about brows because I think that's the one piece of makeup that you could do and walk out of the house and it's gonna look like you have your whole face done. Um, when you do your brows, it actually frames your features. It frames your entire face. Brows was like the thing I never knew I should do until mm -hmm. I did it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I'll never go back. Have you ever seen those um, those those memes that go around and it says, you know, what what's the one makeup item you would take to, you know, a deserted island? My brow pomade. <laughs> like that's what I would take. Um, so I absolutely love it. So this. Um, Gosh, I think my brow pomade lasted me about a year and a half mm -hmm. to two years. Um, I apply it with an angled uh, brush. It's very easy to apply. You just follow the bottom line of your brow and then use the brush to kind of comb it on through. Um, you can just follow your natural your natural brow line. And one quick tip that I love is your brows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> so that's just a fun little application <laughs> tip. Don't feel like, you know, don't spend hours trying to get them to match exactly. Your natural brows don't match exactly. Um, that's okay. So I love Level of our pomade. This is our medium shade. We also have a dark, which is what I'm wearing as well. What are you wearing? 
I use medium. You use medium. I was going to say, it looks like you use yeah. medium. So medium would work. Um, so yeah, let us know if you need help color matching and figure out which um, pomade shade is going to be best for you. All right, so we're going to continue with the eyes and we're going to talk about one of my favorite products and this is the mascara. Um, our mm -hmm. mascara actually um, changed my life, honestly, because I was a mascara snob before uh, Lemongrass came out with their own mascara. And um, I had one that I would always use, but the one complaint I always felt like no matter which mascara I still had was that my lashes kept falling out. And I thought that was just normal. I thought that, you know, losing lashes or, or breakage on lashes was just a normal part of life. And, you know, you, people always comment about like, oh, that little kid has just the most beautiful lashes and they're so thick and oh, I'm so jealous. Well, if you really think about it, Probably the reason why that child has really awesome lashes is because they're not putting chemicals on their lashes that are causing them to be dry and brittle and break and fall out. So just like everything else in Lemongrass Spa's line, this is actually really nourishing for your lashes. Lashes. We have ingredients in here that are going to um, help to encourage lash growth. It's also going to help strengthen your lashes. Um, and you're not going to have that drying, brittle lash that falls out or breaks anymore. Um, this has a uh, natural beeswax in here, and that makes your uh, mascara water resistant. So I love that fact. I can be talking with somebody and, you know, cry or laugh so hard I'm crying or get splashed in the face mm -hmm. and I'm not going to have mascara running down my face. Mm -hmm. um, but it also makes it to where it's really easy to come off. And I love that. The um, coffee extract and rice extract in here are what help to encourage that lash growth. Um, and I also like that this it also has the capability of doing buildable um, layers. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to do multiple coats depending on how thick and long and luscious you want your lashes to look. Um, but I've seen a tremendous difference in my lashes between, you know, before I used it and after as far as the length and thickness of my lashes. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. I would take that to my deserted island too. <laughs> two things. Two things. I get two things. I get two things. Um, yes. So now that we have wrapped up the eyes, the finishing, uh, you know, topic here is obviously the lips. So yep. love, love, love our lip options. So of course we have amazing lip balms and tinted lip balms if that's um, what you're more interested in. But we have some amazing nourishing, moisturizing lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, they're both going to feed your skin, your lips, great nutrition. Um, and honestly, I think they're really interchangeable with yeah. lip balms. Um, yeah. When my lips are feeling dry, I can put on a lipstick or I can put on a lip um, gloss and I'm going to get that hydration that my lips need, especially being here in really dry Colorado. Um, you know, I tend to get really dry lips and stuff like that. And so I just, I love, love, love these. Same thing, buildable coverage. And actually, Joy's wearing a lipstick and I'm wearing a lip gloss. So you can kind of see a little bit of the difference, but we have a variety of color options. Um, again, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. It's really just a personal preference and what you prefer, um, but you can also layer that, which Absolutely. I think is really fun too. I very frequently will put like our Cabernet lipstick on and then our Ruby lip gloss over the top of it. Um, or if you want the lipstick color, but you like a more shimmery, you know, glossy finish, we have our Starstruck, which is beautiful. Wow translucent color it's just oh, it's so fabulous so um definitely you can grab your lipstick or your lip gloss if you need help uh, with color suggestions that's what we're here for yeah. so yeah anyways um excited to to play play around with this yep yeah so great great well thank you so much for watching our makeup day um we really could talk for hours about makeup but we're going to be respectful of your time and not do that um if you have any questions about color matching or um what shades you know might look good with you or you know um any any of that stuff we're here to help we're here to answer your questions um and we are here to help demo some looks for you so let us know what you need and we're excited to work with you on that all right all right have a great day thanks bye, bye.